Hello, 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 and welcome back to my video. Today I'll be going back to playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. It's been a while since I've uploaded another playthrough of a game before. But that's partly because of that animation project that I did. I mean, I kinda enjoy it, but man, it took pretty long than I had expected. In the last episode, I went to SpongeBob Stream and collected every golden spatula there, which is nice. And now I'm going to go to this spot, Cup Forest. What is Cal Forest again? Oh yeah, 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 I think there's an episode where SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward got trapped inside of Kelp Forest. It's kind of funny. It's like one of the old episodes, and they are really good. And it's pretty memorable for me. So yeah, let's just get it started. Wow. Here we are in the Kelp Forest, an interesting area with many sights to see. For those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Alright, where should I go? Because there's a lot of options as to where I can go from here. Alright, I think the tactic of destroying that is to destroy the lower level first. Then, there you go. Nice. Although, there should be a machine that restores them. Or not. Okay, that's good. Okay, hi Mrs. Puff. Hi Mrs. Puff. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just, uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean, uh, campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Puff. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you've found all of them. Did you just take all of the students to a trip? Like a field trip via SpongeBob? Wow. <laughs> Jeez, I guess Mrs. Puff is really scared of SpongeBob, huh? Come on, I can make this. Nice. Okay, okay. Okay, wah! Oh, can I go this way? I found a camper, nice! I don't think I'm supposed to do it like this though. But I'll take it. Can I... nope, okay. Oh, I can do this! Yeah! What's that? Ah. Uh, just four platforms to an underwear. Okay. But why? Clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. Press that. That raises the lead to somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Okay, and boom. This also increase. Ah, that's one of the cambers. Okay. There you go. I need to find four more. Okay. I can try to jump to locations that I'm not supposed to go to, I think. And I don't know if I should do that or not. But hey, if the game lets me do it, then so be it. Not like it's a multiplayer game anyways. Exploiting in multiplayer games is a big no-no. But in single player games, uh, you can do it, if I'm not mistaken, because like, it doesn't really hurt anyone in the process. Alright, uh, there should be... Yes. Another camper here? Oh! That's the thing. Oh, I know what I'm... I must do. Land it, land it. Yeah! Okay, I raised that platform, even though I've already went there. Oh, there's something over there also. Can I reach it? One... Okay. That grows a leaf to there, for some reason. Mm, anything else? Nope, okay. Ah, I have to do this! You gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Yes, that's what you're good at. Wah. Okay, I'll do it like this. 
That's a checkpoint. Wah. Huh. Alright. Carry this. Jump here, jump here, jump here. Ah. Wah. Huh. Oh. Whoops. One, two, three. Throw that to there. That's not the place. This. Okay, I better do it before it breaks. No. Okay. There you go. Wow, that was close. Okay, that's another camper. Nice. Three out of six. Alright, I don't know how Patrick would fare against this class of enemies. Wah. Oh, it, that just one shot. Okay. Right. Ah! Okay. Wow. Patrick's ground slam is really strong. Right. Do this, do that, and there you go. Hmm. I think I'm still missing some campers here, right? Maybe the one that's over there. Okay, okay. Maybe the other campers are on the next area. So let's just go there. Because I think I'm done with this area, honestly. Alright. New places to go, new places to explore. Whoa. 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 Yeah, you're not gonna get me. Hi, Mr. Krabs. Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick. I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there. I saw three tikis scattered around this area. But me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. What do you mean you have a hard time? Literally one of them is right here. <laughs> Press this button to reset the stone tiki. Oh, I, I see. No. Okay. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Alright. Boom. Nice. You didn't expect that, ah. Huh? The good old crown slam. Okay. Press this. What does this do? That opens the gate to that. Oh, I'm being time. All right. Wah! Come on. I am going there. Is it over here? No. There it is. Nice. Got him. I'll go this way now. Where are you going? Get back here! Come on! Just try already! There you go! Alright, you... Boom! I found a camper! Oh! Right! I forgot about that! What can I do? Oh, I can just do this! I didn't think that I should be doing that! But I did! Although, where am I supposed to go from here? Are there... There's, there it is. Okay. I'll go up here. Hmm. I'll go here. I'll go here. And that's a button that I can press. Nice. Right, that brings it up. And now I can use that as a way to transport that the stone tiki statue. Oh, that's another camper. Hello. 506. I need one more and I can get another golden spatula from Mrs. Puff. I've read the Spongebob wiki recently <laughs> because of sheer curiosity. And apparently Mrs. What? Apparently Mrs. Puff is not meant to be the f like how should I say it? 
isn't supposed to be a character in the SpongeBob series. The draft for the show, like the concept of it, it was presented to Nickelodeon. And at first they didn't really approve that because SpongeBob is portrayed as a young adult rather than than a than as a kid. Which at that time the executive over there doesn't like that. So in order to counteract that, yeah, in order to counteract that, the creator of SpongeBob, Steven Willenberg, I think, he created Mrs. Puff for the sole purpose of this is a this is very fuzzy. I'm I don't really recall it well, but it has something to do with it being an a driving boat instructor, so that SpongeBob does take classes of some kind. And after that, the show got greenlit, and that's where SpongeBob came to be. Like man, it turned to a one massive, massively successful TV series. Huh? It ran from the 1900s, 1990s, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or the 2000s. And I'm, and now it's like 2022. It has been running for a long time. And I mean, to be fair, the series, like, I guess it's more, it's like, not everyone knows about it, but it is a pretty popular TV show, like one of the magnum opus of. Is it called Magnum Opus? Maybe. Like it's it's the mascot for Nickelodeon, that's for sure. So it did leave a pretty big mark on the anime the animation industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is so fa famous that SpongeBob became Nickelodeon's mascot. And I am not complaining about that. Oh, hey, all right. There's three of the thingy done. Now Patrick can go up. Is this gonna be a boss fight? Because I feel like it's gonna be a boss fight. No reason. Nice, another golden spatula has been acquired. I think over the past, uh, over time, they kind of made SpongeBob less of a kid than a young adult. And that has some mixed receptions. I mean, at one point I don't mind because it's just the wacky life of Spongebob. But at the same time... God, I kept recalling that toenail scene. Uh, that is so gross. Why did they put it in? To be frank, I've never... I have also never watched the new seasons of Spongebob, but... Like, I think season 1 to season 6, they are pretty good. Or to season 9, I forgot. How many seasons are there in SpongeBob? I think they kind of falter off in season 4 and 5, and then they made a comeback in season 6. I'm not sure. Hey kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals that power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what's it do, what's it do, what's it do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. Uh, I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well, then you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. Well, your base is not really a secret anymore, is it? <laughs> so you can tell us. Okay. Also, it looks like there's going to be a camper in here. Because I only find five. Yes. Pushing buttons is satisfying. Like, it, you press it, and then it goes back up, and then you press it again, and then it goes back up. Also, I've, l I've just learned, like, before I start doing the whole animation process, that Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy has not made any speaking roles ever since the voice actor for Mermaid Man died. And they're now... they have been relegated as side characters, if I recall correctly. 
more like they don't really speak that much anymore or they do not have speaking any speaking roles at all. Yeah, that's the right the right one. Which is kinda of shame because Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, they have like a lot of things that is going on for them. But I do get it. Like it's to preserve the honor of the voice actor. And I have to respect that. Alright, uh Okay. Uh, boom. Okay, nice. I feel like a new sponge. Okay. Ooh. I should be able to re reach it. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Mm, I just need a bus stop. What am I trying to say again? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a a spin-off featuring Patrick as the main character. Although I feel like that's for a. I don't know how well that thing goes. But if I recall correctly, it came from a vote between that character, uh, between Patrick rock. or Larry the, Ro the Lobster having a spin-off of their own. And of course, people would choose Patrick because the, mo the most memorable character of those two is Patrick. It's really no competition. <laughs> so I kind of felt like, hmm, is this, is this fair? Like, in all honesty, maybe they want to see you. Uh, what's the name? The Life of Squidward? <laughs> I don't know. Ow. Since people have grown up, people apparently started to relate more to Squidward than ever now. So that got me thinking whether... Would it be more fair if it's between Patrick and Squidward? Although at the same time, I don't think seeing Squidward's regular life would be that amusing to begin with. I mean, that's just my opinion. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, I miss! There you go! How did I miss? I was aiming for the target. I guess I have to be... Ah! That's too high up. Okay. What does that do? Nothing. Oh. There's another area. Alright. What's this? That's the reset. Hello! I found all of the camper. I can return the missus path to claim the reward. Let me grab you. Alright, watermelon. Don't go dying. On me. Right here. Grab it. And then start the jumping process. No! Okay, throw! Yeah! How am I supposed? Um. Okay. There you go. I gotta get the watermelon. Okay. Throw it here. There you go. Grab this. And then throw it over there. Okay, that's for the next piece. How many pieces do I need? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think I should switch to SpongeBob for this one. I need one more crystal. That's good to know. I wonder what will the show revolving around Squidward will be? Will it just be like boring? <laughs> or will it just be him trying to live a life with SpongeBob? But I guess scenes where he just lives with SpongeBob is basically like the normal show. So that's yeah, I don't really know what it would be. It would be very interesting to watch or very not... Uh, very interesting to not watch. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. Okay, uh, I got that. Uh, 
I mean, it will be very interesting to watch or not. It's like it's one or the other, honestly. Cow finds. Okay. I'm still missing one. Why am I still missing one? Okay. Whoa! It's a new area. There's another golden spatula. Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it! What a hoot! And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Well, I am a bit busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. Try not to fall off. Even if you're on your best, I can probably beat your time. Maybe. I am not sure, honestly. But let's go! Wow, th this is... That is a tight... Get... Tight turn. Oh, oh, oh. Go here. Go here. Oh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Jeez, I'm still surprised that SpongeBob is <laughs> sliding with his tongue. That reminds me of the Krusty Hotel episode. Where Mr. Krabs just ate a bunch of toenails and nose hair. The more I fail on this thing, the more shiny objects that I can farm. So I'll take that as a win. Mm -hmm. Wah! What the heck? That's a really Still tight one. Okay, this is gonna be a tight turn. Ah! Okay, okay, I made it. Jeez, the path is branching off a lot on the last... thingy. Oh, there's the goal! Nice! Yeah! Alright. Where does this lead to? Cow Forest. Okay, I'll return to Mermaid Man for my reward. Hello. Well now, that's some time you've gotten. I guess you could say I had that course licked. I guess I owe you a reward. Take this golden spatula. Thanks, Mermaid Man. Yeah, you really did lick an entire track. <laughs> I don't know if people will try it if it's... You know, if you like the entire thing. Hi, Mrs. Bob. SpongeBob, there you are. Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You've definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff. I'll cherish it always. Ha. <laughs> 
Jeez, you don't, you do not trust SpongeBob for other issues. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. I mean, unless if it's both related, SpongeBob should be fine. That reminds me of an, of an episode where SpongeBob goes to a boat museum with Mrs. Puff. That was amusing as well. Up we go. Man, I'm hungry. I'll probably get some food after this, honestly. Okay. Maybe I'm missing something. Come on, throw it. There you go. No. Whoa. How many of these do I have to carry? Is there one? Oh, there it is! Oh my god, I missed that. I found the last crystal. This should be all of them. Barnacle boy, I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right, stand back. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> there. What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh -huh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> I didn't think Barnacle Boy should you the actual power of the crystals <laughs> i think he just wants to get you out of the area i mean that's fine because i think i'm done with this area anyways let's go back to bikini bottom oh i can do this wow another one s82 i feel like if i want to collect every golden spatula I have to collect all the socks as well, which is kind of annoying, but I kind of have to. Uh, all right. So that's quality. Yeah. Eighty-three, and that's where we'll end this video on. All right, Calpores. It's more lively than I had thought it would be, but I'll take it. And in the next episode, I'll be going to. This area, the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. Who knows? Maybe we'll meet Flying Dutchman. Yeah. <laughs> but for now, thank you so much for watching SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.